Hi everyone, this is Monica from earthwise.live in Virginia. I would love to bring your attention to a few themes today. And one was inspired by a post that I found from Joseph Campbell. And he talks about the love of your fate. The world is seemingly an obvious in crisis, but as the big sleeping prophet already said, Edgar Casey, he said the crisis is the chance for growth. We have been growing up in a society where only success counts, only material accomplishments count. Meanwhile, Yogi Bachan said, it's the same thing of the same coin. You lose, you win. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. It's a constant movement. The pendulum swings back and forth, pendles back and forth to be in the center, to come into the middle again. Temperance. So the whole setup of our society, and we can see that very clearly now through the situation, what happened at the stage with Donald Trump, the whole election competition, the whole setup on the whole world stage, we can clearly see People are still looking outside of themselves for the leader, for the person who makes it all better. They put all their beliefs, all their hopes, all their love, everything outside of themselves. And what happens is that they run dry of energy. They really actually literally get sucked dry from energy. And this is how the whole power structure was set up for thousands of years. So how about if we learn to love the crisis, either in our personal life, on a nation, in our, in our nations, as a country, as the world, as a universal theme? How about if we learned to really deeply love and accept these crises instead of constantly fighting a war against it, fighting and putting each other against each other? How about that? And I love what Joseph Campbell has to say about that. He says, a wonderful outlook on life. Nietzsche was the one who did the job for me. At a certain moment in his life, the idea came to him of what he called the love of your fate. Whatever your fate is, whatever the hell happens, you say, this is what I need. It may look like a wreck, but go at it as though it were an opportunity, a challenge. If you bring love to that moment, not discouragement, you will find the strength is there. Any disaster you can survive is an improvement in your character, your stature and your life. What a privilege! This is when the spontaneity of your own nature will have to chance to flow, will have a chance to flow. Then, when looking back at your life, you will see that the moments which seemed to be great failures followed by wreckage were the incidents that shaped the life you have now. You will see that this is really true. Nothing can happen to you that is not positive. Even though it looks and feels at the moment like a negative crisis, it is not. The crisis throws you back, and when you are required to exhibit strength, it comes. Joseph Campbell 
I think it's wonderful if we apply that to the current situation that we see. And definitely we have come to that crisis point in our life where we either go to our destruction or we learn how to take on the challenge and to see it as the biggest chance for personal and at a time collective growth together as humanity on this planet. With these wonderful thoughts for positive change and positive development, I leave you for today. Much love, Monica from Earthwise.live in Nellisford, Virginia.